The ocean is one big, scary, unexplored place. Only 10% of the ocean has been explored. The rest remains an absolute mystery. So we truly don't know what goes on down there. But over the years, researchers have managed to record a number of terrifying sounds that will send shivers down your spine. From deep growls and moans from a possible sea monster to the sounds of someone screaming underwater. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 underwater sounds that will haunt you. Starting off this countdown, we have the sea monster. What you just heard is a noise no one knows much about. Seriously, researchers don't know what it's from. I don't know about you, but it sounded like a deep growl. For sure, that is the sound from some massive sea monster. It literally sounds like some evil creature cackling away or something like that. All I know is that I don't like the sound of that and I never want to encounter this creature. Now, because of the power and loudness of the sound, it can be assumed that whatever is making that sound is quite massive. Today we have the lonely whale. This sound was first recorded in 1989 by an American military network listening for nuclear submarines. Instead, they captured this audio. It's of a blue whale with a weird high voice with the main notes at a frequency of 52 hertz, a low bass note to human ears. To compare, most blue whales have a frequency between 10 to 40 hertz. So this whale has a very unique voice, but because of its voice, it can't communicate with the other blue whales. Hence why it's been given the name, the world's loneliest whale, because it's just swimming around trying to make friends, but he can't call to them properly. Like, that broke my heart. Like, listen to this audio again. It literally sounds like this whale is crying out for help. Coming in at number eight, we have the Challenger Deep Moans. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure you smash that like button because it really helps us out. So at the very bottom of Mariana's Trench, there is a point called the Challenger Deep, which is the deepest point known on Earth. Since it is so deep, it's been pretty hard to explore, so we really don't know what's down there. But in March of 2016, a recording picked up some very creepy low moans coming from down there. Basically, to even get this recording was a struggle. The microphone was encased in titanium and was slowly lowered down so it wouldn't be crushed by the pressure. It took them 23 days to get the microphone to the deepest point down there. Then that's finally when they picked up this. Again, the sound of a massive sea creature that we haven't discovered yet, or at least that's what it sounds like, honestly. In our seventh spot today, we have Julia. On March 1st, 1999, a weird sound was recorded by the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration. The sound lasted for about 15 seconds and sounds like someone whining or cooing. Now, I don't know why they named it Julia. Like when I first listened to the clip, I was trying to hear someone say like, Julia, but I'm stupid. That's just the name that they gave to the sound. Could it be any more confusing? Anyways, the sound itself sounds like a sea monster moaning. People were taken aback by the sound because of how loud it was. To this day, researchers don't 100% know for sure what made that noise, but their theory is that it was just an iceberg running into the sea floor. Not as spooky, I know, let's stick with Sea Monster. In our sixth spot today, we have the Aquatic Choirs. This is unfortunately the only sound that I couldn't find an actual recording of. 
But scientists in Australia have discovered that many different fish sing together at dawn and dusk, much like how birds do and then they wake you up in the morning and you're really cranky. Anyways. Researchers from Curtin University in Perth started recording the sound that a number of fish make. Most of the sounds were from a single fish repeating the same call over and over again. But when two or more fish of the same kind joined in, the sounds would overlap and basically would sound like someone was humming or singing underwater. In fact, they discovered that the black jewelfish made a ba 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 sound. I think it's more like a pa pa pa. There you go. That's, that's my impression of the black jewelfish. Either way, hearing that underwater would trip anyone out. Like imagine you're swimming off and you hear that, you're like, yo, who's there? It's just a fish playing games, but still. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the train. This noise was given the name the train because it literally sounds like a train chugging by and blowing its whistle underwater. in 1997 by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They believe that the sound came from Antarctica's Ross Sea. So they think it's from icebergs dragging along the ocean floor. But it's still strange how it literally sounds like a train whistling. All aboard the Underwater Express. Moving on to number four, we have the bloop. is probably one of the most famous ocean sounds ever recorded. In 1997, a large ultra low frequency sound was detected in the South Pacific. The sound only lasted for about a minute, but since then it was heard on a number of different occasions that summer, but has not been heard again since. Take a listen. This sound is very powerful and extremely loud. I mean, the hydrophone that picked up the sound was more than 3,219 kilometers away, and it managed to pick that sound up. That's crazy. Researchers have said that if it did come from a mammal, it would be a mammal larger than a blue whale. So people are thinking that it was a massive sea monster releasing an air bubble or something. Not only that, but the area where the sound originated from is close to the place where H.P. Lovecraft said his fictional character Cthulhu lives. So like, what the hell? Is Cthulhu real and he made that sound or what? Moving on to number three, we have the Devil's Cauldron. The Devil's Cauldron is a geothermal location in Nevada. There's a lot of legends in the area saying that this place is extremely haunted and cursed. Well, one man decided to see what the heck was up with the Devil's Cauldron and to do some investigating of his own. So he placed an iPhone 11 in the cauldron and recorded to see what it would pick up. He managed to record what sounds like screams coming from within. not expecting to capture that. What makes this even scarier is how berserk the phone went after capturing these screams. As a result, some people think that this spot is the portal to the underworld or something crazy like that. Moving on to number two, we have the upsweep. This is an unidentified sound that has been detected by hydrophones since 1991. Does that not sound like it's part of a horror movie soundtrack? Like I instantly got chills listening to that. It for sure is like a warning sound that something bad is approaching. What's even freakier is that when it's sped up, it literally sounds like warning sirens. It's creepy. And like a bunch of sounds on this list, we don't know what's causing it. 
Theory goes that it might have to do with undersea volcanic activity, but scientists don't know for sure yet. And in our number one spot today, we have the strange humming. Dude, this next audio recording literally gave me the heebie-jeebies. So you know in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, how he goes underwater to save his friends and you hear those creepy little mermaid creature things humming? Dude, that's exactly what this sounds like. Take a listen. That's for sure the sound of a mermaid humming, for sure. To this day, researchers don't know what caused the sound because it's a mermaid, but they do think it's coming from some sort of organism. They just don't know which one. To this day, no known marine creature has been matched with that noise, meaning it's probably from a creature we haven't discovered yet. <clears throat> Mermaids, just saying. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these sounds creeped you out the most. And now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video. Top 10 signs of alien life underwater. We're sticking with the whole underwater theme. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> Kefra David commented, not gonna lie, I really enjoy watching Peach, but I love this creepy, scary stuff even more. For those of you that don't know what this person is talking about, I have my very own channel called Peach and you should go check it out. Please do. Smash that like button, go subscribe. It would make my day, please do. We're almost at 50K, so get us to 50K. Kip Henry commented, I like how she did her makeup. Thank you, I did it uh, very early in the morning when I was half asleep. So this is the go-to look every single day. It's never gonna change, sorry about that. <laughs> Weapon C commented, Lindsay looks like an Olympic athlete. I mean, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I think it was because I had my hair in, in a braid and I looked like a volleyball player or something like that. Anyways, all right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.